a massive earthquake occurred in Haiti on January 12th. I'm very saddened by the situation that happened there. We really learned how to lesson uh, from this earthquake. How can we really provide the much needed emergent reliefs for, for the people there immediately? And how can we really launch a research program to study how we can help the country to recover from such a terrible disaster? In the past, we have focused on relief, on emergency. We, we really have to balance, also look at uh, the prevention of the loss of life and assets due to the earthquake or other natural disasters. And after the earthquake or natural disasters, how we can help to rebuild the countries. I think in the future, we really need to pay much more attention to the rebuilding uh, to the prevention uh, of the loss of the knife and the assets by uh, launching uh, research programs. Well, I have been in the new office for almost a month. It has been a very rewarding experience to me. I have used various opportunities to meet uh, our staff through division meetings as well as uh, individual meetings during open office hours. And we just had our first SMT meeting, which I chaired. We have discussed several critical issues IPRI is facing. I wanted to ensure you that the results of SMT meetings will be shared with you in a timely and a transparent manner. Well, on January 11th, Raju and I spent the whole day in visiting Gates. So we had various meetings with the president of the foundation and also various directors for agriculture and health. So the gates have been supporting IPRI in various uh, activities. Uh, the priority for gates includes uh, nutrition, agriculture, and uh, health. These priorities are consistent with IPRI's. Thence, I would look forward to even a stronger partnership between gates and IPRI in the future. I will visit room-based agriculture and food institutions including WFP, FAO, and IFAT. We have been working with uh, various institutions uh, based in Rome. Uh, the partnership there is very strong. Through this visit, I wish that we could further strengthen the partnership between IPRI and uh, these institutions. I visited China from January 12 to uh, 17. I used that opportunity in meeting with various government officials, including Minister of Agriculture, Vice Ministers for Agriculture in different areas, like crop production, technology, poverty reduction, um, overall uh, environmental uh, protection. The IPRI China program has also hosted a uh, reception to, uh, for my visit. Uh, we had about 50 to 60 uh, attendance, including donors, uh, collaborators, and uh, government officials. The China has a special role at IPRI's research agenda. First, China's food security is a global food security. China's population accounts for a quarter of the uh, world population. The economy continu continues to grow, so thus the demand for food will continue to rise rapidly. Second, the last 30 years' experience in China's reform through agriculture net poverty reduction strategy provides important lessons for many other developing countries. Lastly, China has become an important partner in global uh, development and in providing aid to other developing countries. Thus, the role of China in IPRI's research will be even much greater in the future. I wanted to encourage our staff to active, actively participate in IPR, to use this opportunity to engage with other researchers, to look for opportunities to work together, particularly some of the cross-divisional, cross-cutting research issues. Our staff should bring their ideas and their free thinking, particularly innovative ideas, so they can really 
interact with each other and look for opportunities to work together on some of the cross-divisional or cross-cutting issues. I look forward to see you all doing IPR.